Hello guys, in this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to add a custom font in MailChimp. So stick around to the end to get all the steps to succeed in doing this. Now, the first thing we need to do, of course, is to log on into our MailChimp and on the main dashboard, go to the top right corner where you have your profile icon or initial. And next, we're going to select accounts and billing. And then we have some tabs here. We're going to select settings. It's going to be a drop down menu and we'll select details. We're going to scroll down to make sure that our default email builder is classic builder. If we have the new builder, this might not work. So we want to select classic builder. And once you select it, it will save automatically. Now on the left side panel, you're going to click on create of the three options. We're going to select regular email, click on design email, and then we'll scroll down to the content row, click design email again. As you can see, the option we selected before stays the same, classic builder. And now we're going to scroll down to select a featured template. Now, of course, some of these require upgrade to use, but there are some that are free to use. In order to know this, when you hover over it, you're going to see upgrade to use depending on your plan. And over here, you can use this because that notification isn't there. I'm going to select it. And now we're going to scroll down to our text area here. And when we hover over it, you're going to have some options or tools. We're going to select the pen tool, which is also to edit the block. I'm going to click on it. And right here, we have the edit pane on the right side. So as you can see over here, these different write-ups have different features. For example, this one has a header feature and the text is different. So we're going to select this one if we want to change the font of this one. And then when we select it, we're going to go over to this button, which is called the source. It looks like two pointy brackets. So we're going to click on it. And now over here, we're going to select everything and we're going to temporarily change the font to Georgia. Yes, it does change, but if we want to add a custom font, we're going to go over here where we have the two pointy brackets. We're going to click on it, which is also called the source. And here you can see the font family type. Now, in order to get a custom font, we're going to go over to fonts.google.com. Now over here on fonts.google.com, you have some fonts to select, which is a good place to select custom fonts. And we're going to scroll down to look for one. So for example, if Poppins is the font style you like, you can click on it. Over here, you can click on get font, and then we'll select get embed code. Now in the embed code, we have the different Poppins font styles. We have Poppins thin, we have Poppins extra light, Poppins light. So we're going to select the first one, because we just want to copy this and put it over in MailChimp. But before we make this selection, you're going to go over to MailChimp again. You're going to select the text between the parentheses, like so. You can see we've just highlighted this between the parentheses. We're going to go over to fonts.google.com again, make a selection for just the text, make a copy of it, come over to MailChimp, and on our keyboard, we're going to click on Control V, which is to paste. Take note that currently we have a font family of Georgia, Times, Times New Roman, and Serif. We're going to click on Control V, and this changes to Poppins. You might also notice that the text has changed. Now you can do this for any of the other parts of the paragraph. For example, we're just making a change to the H3, which is this one. Feature the star of your collection first. You can do this for the first and the second paragraph. Now, you might have also noticed that something changed, which is the font family. However, in some cases, this font style might not work because it depends on what MailChimp allows to add as a custom font. After you've done this, you can go ahead and click on save and close. After that's done and MailChimp accepts the custom font you intend to add, you can continue with your edits. So this is how to add a custom font in MailChimp.